Ah, Nenda. Nenda Sebo. Nenda Sebo. Ah, it's Sebo CTV. Sebo CTV. Hello. Hello. Can I get the the, the, the score sheet and I take what people the care you team? Hello. I didn't say I've taken a whole sample. I'm requesting take a people the team. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to game two tonight. We shall be having the KIU Rangers take on the UCU Lady Cannons. It's a very tough game to watch right here tonight, and it's the last game probably today. We could be having free entries to all the ladies. And please make sure you don't touch the dial. We're going to be starting in a few. This is going to be called a university conquest. If you don't get it, then you'll have to watch so that you cannot forget about it. Both teams taking on their warm-ups. As I told you, these teams follow each other on the standings of the Federation Uganda Basketball National Basketball League. You see you at number five and the KU Rangers at number four as per the standings for today. Ladies and gentlemen, teams are taking up their warm-ups tonight, streaming it live from the MTN Arena Lugogo Kampara, Uganda. As we're here to witness greatness, it's getting better, more crazy, more fun to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want a vibe, if you want to have fun, if you want to have something for your eyes, then this is the time, this is the game to watch Mogul films on the ones and twos and the lenses. And it's about that time that the games begin. The UCU Lady Cannons looking very ready. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what we can call this. But they are seemingly to be more ready than the Rangers. But warm up cannot tell. But it can determine to some point. The warm ups cannot determine how you play. But all I can tell you is that if you don't warm up so well, 
then that means you're not gonna play so well. Those who did sports science, you know, the arts, the benefits of warming up so well, that is the reason as to why we do not, like we do not give less time to teams to warm up. We make sure we give them a lot of time so that they can warm up their bodies so that they can be at the best of their abilities tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, not forgetting our sponsors, Castolite and Next Media Services. Those are the ones that make sure that we're really here tonight. It's a derby here tonight, a very good Wednesday. Free entrance to all the ladies. Tell your sister, tell your girlfriend, tell your wife, tell your crush. Bring them to the MTN Arena, Lugogo, Kampada, Uganda. All I can tell you, this is the best league in Uganda, East Africa and some parts of Africa. As I keep telling you, this is the best league in Uganda in East Africa and some parts of Africa. Ha. At the starting five, we have Ekon Rose. We have Ekon Rose. We have Hajati right there. Oh my goodness. Players shaking hands. As you know, basketball is a sportsmanship game. It's a friendly game. And it's a jumbo right here. Ekondros will be jumping with Chirabo of the KIU Rangers. Ekondros right there at the center, plus Azida right there in a the black veil with Shakira. And at number five, we have Letaru. Shakira just seven, drives it in, kicks it out to Letaru. Letaru kicks it out to Agi. Agi drives it in. Turnover. Oh, oh my goodness. Very good buckets. As I told you, basketball is a game whereby you're going to pay for all your mistakes. Any mistake, you're going to pay for it. She drives it in, steps through, backs it in, scores a two ups. The fans very excited tonight. This is why we play. This is why we play. Mongol films on the lenses. They are here to make sure you get blood party. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. A very good block from Echo Rose. Ho oh, ho. Oh. I was. I don't want to hear anybody saying Jagala vibe if you're not watching this game. Azida passes the ball to Letaru. Ho! Oh, it's a very good game. A very good floater from Shakira, but she misses it. Ueneza with the ball. Very good pass down there. And Odiambo backs it in. Odiambo just seven with a very good cut at the lane. 
very good basketball and it's a very good screen from Ekon Rose but she doesn't roll. Aggie with the ball, she backs it in. It's a very physical game right here. And Ekon Rose steps in for the two. Scores at 6 4. Weneza passes the ball to Udiambo. Ball stolen by Azida, passes it to Shakira. Back to Agiba, she loses it. Namanda Agatha shot 10 right there. Ekon picks the rebound. She dribbles it for the in and out. She passes it to Namwanda. As it affects, steps back for the, for the three. She misses it. Ekon picks the rebound back to Agatha. She misses it. It's a hustle ball play. Ueneza passes it to Nyamwenge Perus. Perus passes it. Oh. And the umpire says it's a two. Scores at eight four. The game is getting live. The, the game is picking pace. This is just a tip of an iceberg, probably tonight. You cannot be enjoying unless you've subscribed to our YouTube channel. And to all the fans out there, we really appreciate you for the work so far. Well done. All we request from you is subscribe to our YouTube channel and tap on the notification button so that you can get all the live updates from us. With me, your number one commentator, Ibrahim Sayyid, aka Ibu. I'm here to make sure that you post it. I'm here to make sure you're having fun wherever you are. Shout out to all the Ugandans and to all the people in the diaspora. We love you guys and we pray that you make it anytime to the arena so that you can witness it by yourself. You know, streaming it live is another thing, but watching it live is another. Weneza with the ball, pass Weneza. She pulls up for the two and she bumps it in. Scores at 11 4 in favor of the KIU Titans. The UCU are trading with a seven point lead, five minutes, 10 seconds to play, to the end, to play in the first quarter. She dishes out to Shakira, Shakira pulls up for the three, she misses it. She gets her on rebound again. Letaru pulls up for the three, she misses it. Ekon with the rebound, and umpire says it's a foul. Very good play right here from Ekon Rose. And it gives a chance to go to the line to make the two free throws. The question is, is she gonna make them?
my goodness. What did you just see? And it's a timeout. The UCU coach called for a timeout, probably to correct a few errors right here and there. The scores are 16 4. A KU with an early point, 12 point lead tonight. As I told you, it's a very good game to watch tonight. The KIU Rangers being on top of UCU on the table by one slot, it's really not going to be easy tonight. But all I can tell you, you gotta, you gotta stay tuned so that you can witness by yourself. Shakira drives it in. Letaru dishes it out to Agatha. She pulls up for three, but she misses. I say that's a walk. Kanya Munyeza just five, just walk with the ball. Aziza, Aziza picks the ball to Shakira. Shakira pulls up for the three, but she misses it. Kanya Munyeza misses it, but Ampere says. It's a foul. Umpire says it's a foul. And Umpire says number seven just pushed. Shooting two. Spin move from Kamwanda Agatha. She gets fouled by Chirabo. Oh my goodness. She just did a shake and bet. Kanyamunyeza with the pass, but Ekon steals it.
and it's a dead ball. Scores at 17 4 in favor of the KIU, the KIU Rangers. Tirabo with a very, very good open shot. Weneza with very good rebounds right here. Kanyamunyeza backs it in. Oh my goodness. The excitement says it all. The excitement says it all. As the KIU fans are very excited here tonight. Block party. Oh my goodness. I didn't see that coming. Back to back buckets from the KIU Rangers. And a very good three from Agi. Ekon steals the ball. She drives it in. And she draws a foul right there. Shooting two. Econ just missed the first one. She has an opportunity to make the second one. And she backs it in. Scores at 24-7 in favor of the KIE Rangers. Weneza doing a very good job right on the defensive and offensive end. The game is getting more crazy. Scores at 27-8. 40 seconds to the end of the first quarter. The UCU Lady Cannons have had a very bad start tonight. 24 seconds to play tonight. Oh my goodness! Step back three! <laughs> Back three. This is the National Basketball League. Mogul Films on the lenses. They're here to make sure that you can have a ripple of that. Oh my goodness. And it's the end of the first quarter. What a play. Care you displaying very good basketball tonight. I didn't see that coming, but it had to drop. A very good start from the KU Rangers tonight. Meanwhile, 
the UCU Lady Cannons really have to fight to see that they bring back the game tonight because the scores are 38, 38, meaning it's a 22-point lead tonight. Arena Lugogo, Kampala, Uganda. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very good game to watch, as I told you. It's a very, very great game to watch as far as basketball is concerned tonight. Maybe let me give you a quick reminder of the table standings. KU is at number five. Sorry, the KU Rangers at number four. going to be starting the second quarter right there all you can do for yourself is subscribe to our youtube channel shout outs to mogul feelings for making sure that everything is clear and trust me we're going to make sure everything is on point we got no room for error tonight with me your commentator ibrahim sayed aka ibu Weneza picks it again. She passes it to Perus. Perus back to Weneza. Weneza passes it to... Oh, my goodness. She misses it. Very good play. Very good pass from Nakato. The game is still live, as I told you, it ain't over until it's over. Perus fakes. Oh, Tiraba with the move, she spins, but she misses it. Ball pass back stolen. Kanya Mwenza, she misses it. And Nakato just walks. Nakato Kauri just walks with the ball. <laughs> Tirava with the rebound. Passes it to Paris. Paris passes it back. And Weneza floats it in, but she misses it. The KU Rangers have really picked very many offensive rebounds. You see, you gotta step up before it's too late. And ball stolen. Paris for the layup, and she backs it in. Scores at 32 11. That's the beginning of the second quarter right here. We are live from Kampala, capital city. Shakira pulls up for the two and she bucks it in. A 
air ball. An air ball from number eight. Nampa says it's out of bounds. KU ball scores at 32 13. And it's a sub substitute. Firidaus. Namuleme Firidaus. A fresh blood making her fresh debut. In the National Basketball League, this is her first season. She pulls up for three, but she misses it. A converse picks the rebound. Passes it Shakira, but she doesn't get it. She can't get it to go. My goodness, a very good move from Tirabo, but she doesn't make it. Shakira drives it in, dishes it out to Hajara. Hajara misses it. Ekon with a rebound. My goodness, she misses it. Panya Munyeza pulls up again, but she misses it. Oh, Perus tries to get the ribbon, but she doesn't get it. Very good floater from Nakato. She backs it in. You see, you is really trying to catch up. Scores at 32 15. It's a 17 point difference, but they are really trying to catch up. Game is still live. And it's a timeout call. Timeout call for the UCU Lady Cannons tonight.
Very big play from the big fella. And she's fouled. Shooting two for Abigail. Scores are 30 to 16. It's a 16 point difference. You see, he's really trying to cover up the lead. Five minutes, 16 seconds to play in the second quarter. defense from UCU have really stepped up their game. Very good cross from Letari to the big fella, but she misses it. Oh my goodness, she picks her rebound again. She uses her size. And Ampa says it's a foul. Nampar says it's a side ball, it's not a shooting two. Ball to Hajara. Hajara passes it to Ekon Rose for the very good card. Bucket good. That is probably what we call money. Scores at 32 18. You see who has stepped up. Pulls up for a jumper. Scores at 34 18. The game is, the game is getting intense. Very good rebound from Ekon Rose.
see you trying to catch up right here. Very good basketball from Nyamwenge Paris. Just 12. Hajara makes two for two. Very good shooting from Hajara. Scores a 36-21, a 15-point lead. It's a good three, but she misses it. Hajara pulls up for three. She backs it in. Oh my goodness. What a quarter. One minute and three seconds to play. You see you Lady Cannon still on the money. Ball back to Letaru. Letaru gives it to. Oh my goodness. For that shot fake. Ball back to Letaru. Letaru passes it to Hajara. She pulls up for three again. She misses it. Big fella gets it. Picks her on rebound and backs it in. Scores up 36 26. It's now a 10 point lead. 20 seconds to play. Ladies and gentlemen. And it's a shooting too because the KIU Rangers have the flag up. Oh my goodness, it's now an 8 point lead, 13 seconds to play. And it's a shooting too. And the ref says that's an anti-sportsman foul. You cannot do that. You cannot hold someone like that. And she misses the first one. One more shot to go. But Diambo misses the second one, and it's a KU ball. A 
And that brings us to the end of the first half tonight. Scores at 36-28, an eight-point lead by the KIU Rangers. A very good second quarter play from the UCU Lady Cannons tonight. Game is still live. It ain't over. It's just the beginning. We see the KIU Rangers head to the locker room probably to have some corrections here and there so that maybe they could head back in the second half. You see you looking so locked in. They really need this win, but we don't know if they're going to get it or the KIU going to get it. We yet don't know about that, but all we know, it's a survival for the fittest. The one who wants it all is going to take it back home. So the one who has it probably more is going to go with the home win. It's a courtesy of Federation Uganda Basketball Association. All you have to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all the updates that we need. With me, your number one commentator, Ibrahim. And a shout out to all our streamers out there, be in Uganda, in diaspora, wherever you are, we send you warm greetings from Kampala. Greetings from the Federation Uganda Basketball Association. And don't forget that on Wednesday, it's a free entry to all the ladies. So tell your sister, tell your cousin, you can tell your mom, you can tell your girlfriend, you can tell your crush to come and watch the game. It's free of charge. And don't forget that we're going to be back into action on Friday. So if you cannot make it to the games, then all you have to do is just tap on the notification button so that you can get a notification of any game going to be live. That's how we do it.
and that brings his and that brings us back to the second half of the game that brings us back to the second half of the game scores at 36 28 it's an eight point difference care you with the leads you see you trying to make sure they catch up in this quarter third quarter basketball as you much aware the third quarter is always a quarter that determines the game so most times those are fighting so hard give it all always win the game that is just a philosophy that can be subjected to change i'm not trying to prophesize but i'm trying to make sure i give you facts about the game Very good pass. Very good pass to Tirabo. And the umpire says it's a shooting two. from the big fella it's now a six point lead I told it's a survival for the fittest. Looks like you see you Lady Cannons has picked up the momentum. They have really picked up the momentum. They look so locked in. They've really managed to play very good defense and a very good job on the offensive side. Good rebound from Abigail. And a pull up three, she misses it. Epon tries to get the rebound, but she tips it out of bounds. A very interesting third quarter. A safety call.
Very good rebound from Ekon Rose. Crosses the ball over. Passes it to Shakira. Shakira passes it to Abigail. And Abigail finishes. Very, very, very big move from Abigail. Oh my goodness. Abigail with seven points tonight. Scores a 36-32. A four-point difference. From having a 20-point difference in the first quarter, the UCU Lady Cannons are really making sure that they catch up before it's too late. Game is getting interesting, tough, and it's a survival for the fittest, of course. My goodness, what an all look pass to the big fella, but she didn't see it. Very, very good basketball. What an all look pass to the big fella, but she was like, I can't see that. And she floats in, she backs it in. That's their first point of their first point this quarter. They really hadn't scored since the beginning of the quarter. Perus doing a very great job right on the offensive side. What a cut, what a, what a cut and a pass from Shakira to Ekon Rose. And the KU Rangers turn it over. Substitutes. <laughs> and their coach just makes a few subs. Probably to add in some new energy. And Maimuna is just fouled. The umpire says it's a KIU ball, probably. minutes to play. Care you still with the lead. Scores of 40-34. A six-point lead. Five minutes to play.
And the umpire says it's out of bounds. You see you ball. Game really looking so great. Shout out to all our viewers right there. Akon Rose pulls up for three. She misses it. Shakira picks it again. She forces it in, but misses it. Passes it to Mai. Ball back to Rose. Passes it to Shakira. She pulls up for the three. She misses it. Tracy picks the rebound and she backs it in. Good job from Tracy, number four. What an acrobatic move. These are acrobatic moves probably only found in the National Basketball League of Uganda. Scores are 35, scores are 45, 34. And the KIU coach tries to tell the umpire that's an only one foul, but the ref tells him, I only call what I see. What I don't see, that means I can't call that. Nampa says it's a pushing foul by Shakira. Three minutes and 17 seconds to play. What an exciting game tonight. This is Wednesday basketball. It's a Wednesday live game day. For Shakhtar Day pulls up for the three, misses it. Wenezda tries the reverse, but she turns it over. My goodness, Tracy with a very good floater. She steals it again. She is fouled by Paris. And it's a shooting too. The controls misses the first shot of the game. She misses her free throw for this quarter. Back again to it. She backs it in. 
substitutes. Rebound from number 11, and she puts it back. She backs it in, scores at 47 39. One minute 38 seconds to play in the third quarter. One minute to play, scores are 47-39, it's an eight point lead, this is the third quarter, as we see the shot clock runs down, probably. <laughs> now you see you Lady Cannon still on the money. What a move, what a spin. A physical game right here. Game is getting so physical tonight. It's a five point lead, 29.7 seconds to play. Streaming it live from the MTN Arena, Lugogo. Kampala, Uganda. Really can't change a lot. Seven seconds to play. You see you steal the ball. And it's a... That's what I mean when I say that. The UCU Lady Cannons back to life. What a quarter, as I told you, it's getting better and probably more crazy. Scores at 47-44 in favor of the KU Rangers. The KU had a couple of turnovers in this quarter and very good defense from their opponents, the UCU Lady Cannons. So we're going to be waiting for the fourth quarter to determine who takes the win back home.
Is it the Kansanga, the Kansanga ladies, or it would be the Mukono ladies? And this brings us to the last stroke fourth quarter of the game. This is the last and fourth quarter of the game. KU leading 47 and UCU Lady Cannons 44. And it's a UCU ball. says it. A very good pull up from Tracy but she misses it. Azida picks the rebound back to Shakira, back to Tracy and lays up off the glass but she misses it. You say you picks it again. My raises up. And guess what? The scores are 47 ups. It's a tie game. And the umpire says the scores are 46-47. The refs just say the scores are 47-46. Very good, very good shot from shot 11.
And the UCU Lady Cannons take their first lead of the game tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the UCU Lady Cannons take their first lead of the game tonight. They look so locked in. It's like the KIU Lady Rangers has lost a little bit of focus and they're gonna have to pay for this. This is the fourth quarter whereby there's no room for any mistake. And a very good pull-up jumper from Ekon Rose. Oh my goodness. No coach, I repeat it, no coach in basketball would ever wish Scott Nick to have a lead on him. These are very, very technical times. And all the fans right here, it's like the UCU fans were out of the arena, but it's now they're like the back in the building. Ladies and gentlemen. And it's a timeout call. Very good plays from the young fella, Jazz Fall, Paul Tracy. She's really had some very good but important buckets as far as their lead is concerned. Scores at 48-54. It's a six-point lead. You see you with a lead in the fourth quarter. And of course, you know what that means, having a lead in the fourth quarter. Scores are 49-54, a very good game right here to watch. Six minutes to play 
in the fourth quarter. He controls, steps through, misses it. Aminaya with the rebound. Uineza. from Azida scores at 57-49 it's a 9 point lead Tries to shoot, but she misses it. a drive and a step through from the young fella the young lady right there just for aka Tracy with seven point she had seven points tonight she backs it in to make it eight And it's a timeout call. Scores at 49 59. It's a 10 point game. The UCU Lady Cannons with a 10 point lead tonight. And it's a timing call. Ten point game. Live. Four minutes, 50 seconds to play. It's a 10-point game. Question is, who ya got? Very 
very good pass from Shakira to Eko. The lead is still a 10 point lead. Four minutes to play. And it's a nine point lead, four minutes to play. Game is still live. And it's a timeout call. 52-61 are the scores in favor of the UCU Lady Cannons tonight. To all those streaming this game live out there, we wish to inform you that on Wednesdays we have free entrance for ladies. Scores are 52 61 in favor of the UCU Lady Cannons. Keep it locked, don't touch the dial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the updates. What a play from Feridaus. She just stole the ball in Shakira's hands. Shakira pulls up, but she misses it. An air ball from her. Three minutes, 39 seconds to play. Scores at 52 61, a nine point lead in favor of the UCU Lady Cannons. Dallas floats it, but she misses it. And Empire says it's a ball down.
misses her first. She misses her first free throw. She has a second one to shoot, probably to give her team a 10 point difference. And yes, she puts it into the net. Very good pass from Freddie House. Two minutes to play. And it's a substitute. The basket. It's now a six point lead. Two minutes, 14 seconds to play. This is the time when the game becomes technical. KIU Rangers fouls so that they could get a possession. Shot from Hajawa. And that's their fifth foul for the game. She misses the first shot. She has one to go. Scores are 56 30, 56 63 in favor of the UCU Lady Cannons. UCU have fought a very good fight tonight from a 20 point lead. To probably a 9 point lead tonight is something you cannot take for granted. One minute to play. And the umpire makes a substitute. And 
left one for the hook shot. She misses it. 42 seconds to play. Shooting two. Forty-two seconds to play. Scores are fifty-six, thirty-two, fifty-six, sixty-three. The controls with a very good rebound tonight. The UCU Lady Cannons with a very with a commanding lead scores 57-63. That's probably a six-point lead tonight. Trailing from a 20-point lead in the first quarter. They really had a very bad start tonight. But as I told you, having a bad start does not in any way determine how you end the game. They really fought it till the end. With seconds to play, all the odds showing that UCU is taking the win back home. Five seconds to play. And she pulls her wrong. A long range, but she misses it. With 11 seconds to play, scores are 59-63. It's a four-point lead for the UCU Lady Cannons, ready to take the win straight to Mukono. With 11 seconds to play. You see you lady cannons with the ball. Trying to waste some time right here. She turns it over.
And the scores are 60-63. Timeout, UCU. Five seconds to play. Scores are 60-63. With five seconds to play, as you know, the game of basketball can change any time with a mistake in the remaining three seconds. You can really pay for your mistake when you make a mistake in the remaining three seconds. So you see you really have to make sure that they have the possession in order for them to take the win back home. Five seconds to play. Oh my goodness. Hey. How about that? She pulls up and she backs it in. Oh my goodness. I just told you this. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. We're going to overtime. Oh my goodness. I warned you about it. Do not say I didn't tell you about this. This is basketball. This is why we play. Don't say I didn't tell you about this. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. What a three-point shot, as I told you, five seconds are too big. Five seconds are too big. Probably a team can win you in the five remaining seconds. And the coaches are asking themselves, how? The coaches are like, how? How did it happen? The Kansanga best ladies are back to game. They are back on board. Everyone is shaking their heads. It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Temperatures have risen on the side of the UCU Lady Cannons. Abaganda Waga, Bessawa, and Nomus and Yoguchuka. Eh, eh, eh. My road, are you under? If probably Mzei Charles would be here, he would be like, eh, 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 my road, are you under? With both their flags up. As I told you, this is our fourth quarter. For any mistake you're going to make, that means you really have to pay for it. And we head straight out to overtime. It's overtime.
five minutes. Game is crazy right here. For those streaming it live, we really appreciate you. She raises up for the three, misses it. And it's a jump ball. KAU ball. Scores at 63 ups. What an interesting game. Very, very interesting tonight. The young lady Friedels has really brought them back to game with defensive and offensive plays right there. This is what we call malaria time, overtime. And Ampa says it's a pushing foul. Shooting two for Namuleme Firidaus. Remember, all their flags are up, so whoever fouls, probably any team is gonna go on the line. Shooting two. This is why we play four minutes 38 seconds to play. for the three but she misses it Shakira picks the rebound again back to Hajara and umpire says it's a walk you cannot do that four minutes zero two seconds to play ladies and gentlemen streaming it live from the MTN Arena Lugogo Kampala Uganda When Eza floats it in, they pick the rebound again. They miss it. Azida gets it. Hajara pulls up for the three, but she misses it. Fridaus with a very good pass. Oh my goodness. She spins and misses. Three minutes, 15 seconds to play. Utaru for the cross, passes it to Shakira. Probably they are looking for Aken Rose, but very good defense. She pulls up for the three, misses it. And Ampar says it's a ball down. Coach makes some few changes right there. Shot 11 comes in for Chirabo. Rabo gets back. A 
Zida misses the first one. Let's see what she does on the second one. She makes the second one. Scores at 64 ups. Block party! Block party! Get out of here! Not in my house! Oh. Two minutes, 44 seconds to play. Holding foul. And it's a shooting two. Tough game right here. Kanyamweza goes online. He makes the first one. And she misses the second one. Haja goes up, Ekon picks the rebound, she misses it. And it's a KU ball. Two seconds, 26 seconds to play. Two minutes, 26 seconds to play. Scores at 65 64. Field house. Pulls up. She picks her own rebound, but she cannot. She's off balance. She floats it in, she misses it. Shakira picks the rebound. Very big rebound. Azida raises up. Adampa says it's a holding foul, shooting two. Care you with a one point lead. Scores at 65 64. One minute, 25 seconds to play. Scores at 65 ups. Oh my goodness! She pulls up for three. This is unbelievable. And it's a tie back three. Fifty seconds to play. It's a one point lead. The umpire calls for a substitution. 28 seconds to play. A 
and it's a timeout. Very, very interesting game tonight. What a game tonight, 67-68 in favor of the UCU Lady Cannons tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, streaming it live from the MTN Arena, Lugogo, Kampala, Uganda. Tuba tumideko basemo neva nyabo mwenavali ya wabwedu. Tuwaga lomba tegeza nti avachala vaingiri la wedele orunaku oroku satucho voko la jangune masikio. This is the way to the And it's a UCU ball. 28 seconds to play. You see, you have 10 seconds on the clock. And it's a timeout call. I saw this coming. The KIU coach has called for a timeout. Scores at 67-68. The UCU Lady Cannons will really have to play very, very good defense because in case of any slight error, they will have to give away the win, which I don't think they are ready to gonna do. And their opponents, the KIU Rangers, are also ready to take the win back home. That they have one point. They only need two points to win the game. And you see you only need one defense to win the game. Seventeen seconds to play. It's malaria time. Seven seconds to play. Again down, you see you wins it. The 
the UCU Lady Cannons take it back home. They probably pick the win from the KU Titans hands. That is picking food from their own mouth. No is at all. Watch again. We thank you all for streaming it live. But before you exit, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all the updates. You see you wins the game 68-67 in overtime. With Econ Rose with 13 points and Just 12 with 14 points. Econ Rose is our player of the game tonight. With a game high, 13, 13 points tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, see you on Friday. We shall be back here, same place, same time. Keep it locked. Don't touch the dial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good night, see you, peace and love.